So, I've left the office, and today I'm gonna to be previewing this house here. There's gonna be a state sale soon on it, but I do have a couple clients kind of looking in the Garland area. It really wasn't on this side of Garland, but this is actually a nice little street. So, nobody's supposed to be here, but it looks like there's a bunch of lights on in the house. I don't see any cars in the driveway. So, I'm gonna go up and see what's going on inside the house and see if it's something that might work for my clients and get to see what they're gonna put in the estate sale. When we first walk in, we do have this lovely chandelier. We have some wallpaper, but it's a cased opening going straight into the dining room area. So that's kind of nice. Oh, I love these windows. I imagine when you have them open, there's a ton of natural light coming in, so that's awesome. Oh, she's got some cool stuff here. Oh, that's pretty. Like, for, especially for Christmas or something. But this is a good size dining room, y'all. And if you go through here, kitchen. I like how this opens up. Kind of dark in here though, so let's try to turn on some lights. <gasps> I see milk glass. Oh, these are pretty glasses. Those are pretty. And that's nice stemware. There's some glass pieces down there that look nice. Kitchen's a little small, but it's like open here. Like, you know, it's open in this area, so makes it nice. And I do like the plate rack right there. That's pretty cool. And oh look, these, this corner one opens up so you can really access the whole cabinet. That's nice. Oh, there it goes. Great, break it before you even buy it. Well, this is a nice bowl. I don't know if they've cleared out everything or if there's like still stuff. These are really small drawers, but I suppose you could do something with it. Ding, 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 ding. Here is what I came to look at. Well, I came to look at the house too, but yes. A milk glass punch bowl. What? And then this service set over here. Very nice, very nice. I really, um, so I have a friend that actually collects this kind of thing. Um, you use these like, um, not so much anymore, but you use these for like luncheons and then the, the cup goes right there and you can put your little sandwich or whatnot on there. I'm not really interested in that necessarily so much as I'm interested in this. That's nice. And I do like this piece back here, but I'm sure they're going to want a pretty penny. I don't even know I would take that because that's nice too. But if you look over here, I like that nice little built-in in the corner. I don't know. I kind of like that kind of stuff. Oh, and they've got like a nice fireplace. I like the brick. I like the built-in desk. And it's got like a little cute bar area. That's kind of cute. Oh, look at the retro couch. I like the fireplace. I know I've already said that, but I do. I like it. Some old books and such. So I like this molding right here, or this like, uh, whatever you call it. What I didn't see was this really cute little prints here. Oh, they just look sweet. And then in here, awesome wallpaper. But look at that light. Oh, you can't really see it. Maybe I should turn off the light so you can see it. Aww. I mean, if it's gonna be that kind of light, it's nice that it's vintage. And the plantation shutters, those are nice. And it's got the bead board over here. And then back here is another room with a clock. The guy that designed my house, um, he restores, you can't really see, can you? Sorry. Well, we didn't want that. Let's do that. Well, 
Still can't really see. Anyway, it's a clock over there. And my home designer, he repaired those and worked on those. Here's a bathroom back here. Oh, well. Hi, Grandma. I mean, just, I like this. I don't know if that's original to the home or what, but I like it. Bye, Grandma. Oh, wow, this is a good size in here. Wow. Wow, that's... <laughs> this is cool, but also kind of weird. Um, I wish that were there more lights somewhere. Let me, try, let me try to find the lights. This bathroom requires me to step back out and let's start this over because this bathroom, wow, <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> so we have this kind of reddish color wallpaper out here, which is carried through to the back bathroom. But y'all, that is pink tile in all its glory. I love it. I love it. I would not do it in my house, but I love it. Wow. It just could have been topped off if we had a pink toilet. That would have been the cream of the crop. So I don't understand this, but it's like off that master is like this little dressing area. And look at these really cute plates. Those are nice looking. And all like this little print or whatever. Interesting. Very, oh look, vintage lights. And then it goes through to here where it has carpet by a shower, which is, uh, I don't like that, but another vanity area. And you go through to this little sitting room area that is off of the master. This furniture seems like tiny. I don't know why. Oh, and it has a fireplace, you guys. Let me see if I can come around on this side. I like it. That's nice. I don't know why I'm so fascinated by that, but I love it. So let's go through here and then just your regular stuff. But wow, decent sized master. And an old sewing machine. Very cool. And remember when we were inside those really nice, that bay window, that's really pretty. And then it has like a little area that you could put, that you could put, that there is a swing. So that's kind of nice. And then in front of, what was this? Was this, was it the dining room? Did I miss this room? I must have missed this room. Maybe I didn't go back far enough because it's got a flower bed area. I'm going to go back inside and look. Oh my goodness gracious, you guys. I completely missed this. When I was outside, I was like, what? They've got grandfather clocks. That's what my designer worked on, grandfather clocks. And they've got some little kids' toys in here. They've got lots of Christmas stuff. But look, all around the top, all around the mulberry bush, they have like Santa Clauses, like all kinds. That is amazing. I've got a ton of like arrangements, floor arrangements, which I'm not, I'm just like going, what in the world? Cool. I don't need any of that, but I just think it's cool that somebody collected all that. And like a little bar area, I guess they had parties here. I don't see any Nancy Drew books, but it's okay. They did have milk glass. I think it's gonna be too pricey. Wow, this is cool, and I almost missed it. Now, I do, I'm really interested in these mantle clocks, especially like that one and that one, but they want a little too much for them, I think. I don't know who this girl is, but yeah. Isn't that the sweetest? That's nice. I was gonna totally miss this. Okay, time to go. Okay, now I'm done. And I'm gonna head home. Probably gonna stop by Quality Furniture and check out the kitchen table. 
because tomorrow the weather's supposed to be eh, not that great. Probably just gonna stay inside and get some stuff done. So let's go to Quality Furniture. I'm inside the Mesquite Social Services um, thrift store. I'm not really sure what they call the store actually, but it's kind of like a thrift store slash Goodwill store type thing. Um, and so I don't see any Nancy Drew books. That's what I'm look, scanning the books for. I'm scanning, looking for Nancy Drews or vintage books that I might want to take a second peek at, and I don't see any. So it's going to be a pass on that. I looked through the dishes that they had, and I did not see any milk glass. I saw one that was trying to be a fake milk glass, but I wasn't fooled. And they've got some magazines, they've got some shoes. I may regret not buying some of these, but yeah, just gonna, it's a regret that I'm gonna have to live with. Like for example, I mean, you know, do I need these in my life? I don't know, maybe I do. There's another one over here. Somebody, like, somebody spent money on that. So, yeah, um, just going to have to live with the regret of not buying it. And now I'm going to head to Quality Furniture. I made a quick pick stop because sometimes they have some cool stuff here. And <laughs> not today. <laughs> I mean, it's cool stuff. Somebody, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So, let's go to Quality Furniture now. I'm in the furniture store. Furniture. I'm in the furniture store right now and I just saw this table but it just looks like as I walked up to it I thought is that the table I was looking at because it just looks small so no it was not it's this table right here it's much longer it's 90 inches with the 18 inch leaf inside and of course it's 72 without the leaf the only thing I do not like is the chairs so the chairs just have a hard bottom and we were kind of hoping for a chair like this one here that has a cushion so I mean, of course I can buy different chairs, but is the wood gonna match? Do they offer a different type of chair to go with this? I don't know, but it would very comfortably seat six. And if we add the leaf, which I don't even know if we have enough room in the house to add the leaf, to be quite honest with you, but even at 72 inches, I think we'd be good. Uh, it would be nice and roomy for six people to eat. We'd have four at the bar, and then we would have possibly four or five in the living room. So just space for everybody. That's what I'm trying to find out. So, okay, let me take a few more pictures so I can show Marvin when I get home and I'll show you the couch we're picking out. I don't know if I showed you guys, but this is the couch that we're choosing. I don't really care for the pillows. The, the green is not bad. It just doesn't really go with anything that I was planning on doing. And I'm definitely not getting that, although that's interesting looking. So this is a chenille. It's very, it's the same material that we have currently on the brown couch at the house. Right now, I'm trying to decide if I want two love seats or do I want a, two couches or do I want a couch and a love seat? So that's kind of where we are right now as far as the decision making goes. Just trying to figure out what's going to fit best in the space. And I need a chair for my office. This is not what I'm choosing, but it's cute. So this is behind something else, but this is the headboard to the bed that we're going to do for the guest bedroom. And there's going to be a matching nightstand. We're just going to get one matching nightstand, though. I thought these nightstands were pretty cool because behind here, you can charge your stuff. So that's pretty cool. But I don't see the nightstand for the one I want. This is the same bed as the one that we're looking at, but it is the dark color, obviously. There's a nightstand that goes with it. I don't see it anywhere on the floor. We don't need the chest of drawers or whatever this thing is called. What is that called? Dresser. And that's chest of drawers. We don't need those. We're just going to get one single nightstand. But, and we're going to get an inexpensive mattress to go with it, just to kind of have a space for guests to come over and feel welcome. 